Hi everyone, Seth Alchemist here. First of all, I would like to thank you for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. It truly means a lot to me. Today is a tarot reading for you. But before I move on with the reading, I would like to announce that I created a new YouTube channel that's called Occult Mysterium. Link in the description box below. In this channel, I will share exclusively occult knowledge, alchemy, ancient mysteries, magic, necromancy, all of the occult knowledge that I used to share in this channel. The reason why I did this is because I want to reduce confusion um, with my content and how I organize my work. I want this channel to be specific for divination, for tarot readings, spells, rituals, channeling sigils, and anything that's knowledge related, such as sharing ancient mysteries, alchemy knowledge, I'm going to share it in the other channel, Occult Mysterium. Another thing I did is that I removed all of the videos where I share my knowledge from this channel and I'm going to put them in the other channel. So if you go and look for the videos where I share my knowledge about alchemy or occult sciences, or uh, demonology, you're not going to find it in this channel anymore. You have to go to Occult Mysterium and I'm going to do my best to re-upload all of the videos uh, in that channel. So I would love it if you can go and subscribe over there as well and uh, support me in that channel. I will do my best to keep posting new videos for you. And one last thing before I move on with the reading, I would like to just show appreciation and gratitude to all of you you guys are amazing you guys are awesome you have been supporting me in this journey for many years now and i truly truly appreciate it um, is the reason why i'm creating this other channel because i want everything to be clear um, so let's get right to the reading thank you again today is a money reading abundance money what's coming to you in terms of abundance in terms of money i would like to invite you to pick one of the piles here, either this deck, the Hermetic Tarot deck, or this other beautiful golden deck. What's coming to you financially in terms of abundance, in terms of money? So I'm going to start with the Hermetic Tarot deck. Let's get right to it. Okay, first card that came up. Before before I move on, I just want to show you what came up here. It's a money abundance uh, reading. We have ten of pentacles, but reversed. The first card that came up was pentacles, and it's the ten of pentacles, but reversed. I'm gonna elaborate elaborate on that. Okay. All right. So these are the cards that came up here and we have the bottom of the deck, the five of wands. So for you who picked this pile, there's clearly, clearly a struggle with money represented by this card at the bottom of the deck. There's clearly a struggle with money. You guys are going through some financial situations. You don't know how to handle money. You don't know how to manage money. Money's not sticking with you. Every time it comes, it disappears right away. Hence why the Ten of Pentacles reversed. And this has been going on for a while for you. And you feel uh, defeated. You feel like you're uh, confused. You feel lost. You don't know what to do with this money situation. Because you're trying your best. You're doing hard work. Um, you think you're on the right path, yet you don't see the money coming. And this financial struggle is giving you a lot of uh, uh, problems in your uh, f uh, in your day-to-day -day life with your family. It, it affects your life because you're not happy with your financial situation. Therefore, your life is affected by this. So let's pull a couple more cards and see... Um, how can you deal with this? How can you deal with it? And why is it even there in your life? Um, okay, so we have here at the bottom of the deck, I pulled some cards, but the bottom is the full card. 
You have been a fool. You have been careless with your money. Not now, because now you're watching this reading and you're going to act upon it. You're going to change this behavior. But up till now, you have been a fool. A fool as in like you're not careful with your money. You're not good at managing money. You don't know how to manage it. And you blow it off. You spend it. The moment you get something, you just take it and use it. And the universe sometimes tests us in terms of money. The universe will give you a certain amount. For example, let's say $1,000 or $2,000 to see what you're going to do with it. And if you just like blow it and spend it left or right, the universe sees that you obviously are not ready to receive more money. So it's not going to give you the abundance that you want because you wasted that initial money the universe gave you. It was a test to see what you're going to do with it. Are you going to invest it so it, you can make more money? Are you going to save it? Are you going to uh, spend it wisely? You, in this situation, you probably wasted it. You just like splurged and you just used it on uh, unnecessary, useless things. And the universe saw that you're not ready to handle more money and it stopped giving you money. And that's why here we have the justice card. This behavior is happening because you are, it's you, you are not good with the money because the bottom of the deck, you are foolish with your money, so justice has to be given. So it's a sort of punishment for you not handling your money right. The other thing here that I see in these cards, we have again, Knight of Pentacles. This money, you have the potential to make a lot of money. You have that potential. You have what it takes. See this warrior here? This beautiful, strong, powerful warrior? It's you. And it's the Pentacles. It's the Knight of Pentacles. That means you know how to attract money. You know how to um, create opportunities and situations that will bring you money. You have that. The problem is, the moment you receive the money, bam, it's gone. That's the problem. The problem is not into attracting money. The problem is how you spend money, how you manage it in your life. And we have here the Five of Cups. It's because you don't know how to control yourself uh, into spending the money. If there's something that you want, you just go and get it. You don't care about if it's useful for you, if it's necessary for you. You don't care if you actually need it or not. You just get it. You just spend the money and you get whatever you want. You don't care about the future. You don't care about uh, the consequences. And you don't care about if your spending is right at the moment or not. And that's why you're struggling with money and the universe is giving you a big punishment right now. It wants you to learn that money needs to be managed properly. If you keep just wasting it over and over and over and over, then eventually you're not going to get it anymore. So what can you do about this? What can you do about this? <clears throat> we have the Emperor reversed. Okay. <clears throat> so here, this is interesting. Two swords and uh, three of swords. There's a way for you to end this cycle, to end this cycle where um, money is not coming to you. Here, the lovers reversed. Because this is a situation that's going to impact your relationships too. Oh, be sure about that. Yes, love is very important, but money will will uh, will impact your love life trust me that's why the lover is reversed so if you want this thing to to stop affecting your life if you want it to just stop uh, creating problems for you you have to think about creating your own empire i know this sounds weird it sounds like it's not connected to money and you're going to ask me seth but creating an empire requires money yes but how can you show the universe that you're ready to create your empire? The next time you're going to get a, a sum of money. This is an exercise. This is kind of a, a situation I need you to, uh, to practice in your life. The next time you're going to get an amount of money. I want you to show the universe that you're going to 
use it to create your empire okay use it for your growth for your personal growth you have to show the universe that i'm not just wasting money i'm using the money so i can grow as a human being so i can grow my empire so that this card that's reversed is upright that's why it's reversed if you show the universe that you're gonna have peace here the two of swords and the problems you're having right now are going to disappear that's what you need to do you need to show the universe show your spirit guide show your higher self show your guardian demons that the money you're gonna get next time and it's gonna come to you very soon it's gonna come to you within the next month is this big chunk of money that's gonna come to you that's what i'm hearing right now when it comes you have to show the universe you have to show the universe that you're going to be wise with this money you're going to use it wisely part of it you're going to invest into your growth part of it you're going to save part of it you're going to use for your food and shelter you're not you have to show the universe that you're not going to just blow it be careful this is kind of a last chance for you to show the universe about this and if you do what I just told you, let's see what card is going to come up. We have the Empress, the, uh, the High Priestess, the High Priestess reversed. If you do so, then you're going to start unlocking new parts of who you truly are. Because the money problem is going to disappear, so you can focus on what matters, really. You can focus on your soul growth, on your alchemical transformation. And the last card that I just pulled here, the universe upright with the bottom of the deck, which is the six of pentacles upright. So if you do what I just told you in this reading, the universe is going to be open for you. You're not going to have this problem anymore. And you're going to start making money. Six of pentacles. So we started the reading with the ten of pentacles reversed. We're ending the reading at the bottom of the card with the six of pentacles upright if this is not a proof that spirit is speaking to you live right now in this reading i don't know what is okay so i hope this helps let's move on to the other pile which is this beautiful deck right here Change the energy. Horus mi fira la cash miran. Isir rukindis amala kurish. Sindahalika rumendes. Miss Avrinkart Rashastus. Okay, let me show you the first card that I pulled here. We have the Three of Cups, or the Three of Hearts, upright. The energy is already different here. The bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords reversed. So for you guys, I'm going to show you what showed up here, and it's very interesting. The fool reversed. Money-wise, for you guys, you are um, you're not as bad, although I don't want to label it as bad, because life is just about learning. There's nothing bad, there's nothing good. It's not as bad as the first pile. And again, the first pile, it's okay, you're learning, you're learning how to manage money. We all have been there. It's not as bad as the first pile. Um, as in... No, pen no pentacles showed up here, but I see here as you're following your bliss. You're following your bliss. You're trying to do what comes to you. You're trying to follow your intuition, whatever spirit is telling you to do. And by doing so, money comes to you. That's why um, you're, 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 you always feel good. You always feel abundant. You have this feeling of abundance. You, you don't wait for, for it to show up. For you to say, oh, I am abundant. Even when you're not abundant, you feel it. And that attracts money to you. 
and that's why here this is represented by this the hangman here upright you see so he's like standing he's not even hanged he's standing on his feet he knows what he's doing he's following his intuition there's a beautiful cat and cats are spiritual animals and they're very intuitive they're probably the most intuitive animals out there and that's a representation of you you follow your intuition like a cat and that brings you abundance and it brings you abundance and it allows you to uh, be uh, flawless with how you, the opportunities that bring money to you it's a little bit different from the first pile the first pile they know how to attract money but they don't know how to manage it for you um it's like in order to attract money you have to be in this kind of uh, zone of bliss you have to be always flowy like air you have to be very connected to spirit if you're not represented by this card here the two of uh, ones reversed when you're not in that state of bliss you don't attract money money runs away from you so for you it's conditional money comes only when you feel good that's the difference between you and the first pile here two of pentacles for you it's all about change it's about environment change about travel it's about changing the conditions of your surroundings changing jobs changing locations changing friends or the people you spend time with that's how you make money for you it's circumstances for you money comes by becoming fluid like water by becoming flexible if you're not flexible, if you don't follow your intuition, money doesn't come to you. So money for you is dependent on how you feel, on how you act. It, it could be, let me give you a concrete example. You're in a certain job that's toxic. You have a toxic boss. Your coworkers are not very ambitious. They're not, they're very negative. That impacts you, even though you're different from them even though you're positive even though you're you're a great person with your with your intuition and emotions and you tend to be positive but the fact that you go to this job and this you surround yourself with these people every single day now you're repelling that money from coming to you you're rejecting it by spending time with these people so for you in order to become abundant again you have to change jobs you have to change that environment you can't be there anymore that's the only way for you. Um, let's see what else or what can you do to make this abundance consistent in your life? What can you do? One card fell on the ground. All right. Okay. I'm going to show it to you. And two. Oh, interesting. Okay. And the bottom of the deck is the uh, Page of Cups, but reversed. Combine with these cards here. So we have, this is very interesting. What can you do to make this abundance consistent? First card that fell here is the Nine of Wands. is the seven of wands sorry is the seven of wands reversed that's the card that came up here seven of wands reversed and you have this uh page of wands reversed we have page of wands and page of cups both reversed and we have the six of pentacles which came up as the last card in the first reading again abundance so if you want this abundance to be consistent for you, there's this, um, what I'm hearing here right now for you, there's this union. This union of the divine masculine and divine feminine that needs to happen here. Represented by the page of wands, page of cups. And here, just uh, uh, coincidentally, it's actually here, it's a, a male figure and a female figure. Here, let me show you closely. The male figure and the female figure upright that's how they look like but they're reversed there's this union for you that needs to happen between 
It could be a soulmate, it could be a twin flame, it could be something within you. Maybe your divine feminine is stronger than your divine masculine or vice versa. You need to bring them to balance. So this could be either within you or it could be within, uh, as in you need to find your other half. You find this other person that complements you. Your king, your queen, your emperor, your empress, someone that will complete the picture for you. And once you find that someone, you're going to stand into your power. The cards are going to become upright. You stand in your power. And once you stand in your power, you're going to know how to attract money. You're going to know how to make money flow in your life without uh, without trying hard. Because right now is you're trying hard. You're, you're, tr you're following your intuition. You are. It brings you abundance. But you're, you, there's a sense of you trying hard to attract this abundance. That's what I'm feeling. Even though you're very intuitive, you're positive, but you feel like there's something missing. This missing thing is this balance that you need between the masculine and the feminine. This balance is going to get you to this point where you're always abundant. You just know how money works, how finances works. Maybe this other person, uh, you need to be with them in order to learn about the money from them. You need to know how uh, things, uh, I don't know, how to manage money. Maybe they can help you manage your money or maybe they're going to inspire you with some idea or project that will bring you consistent money and abundance in your life. And, ooh, as I was putting uh, the, the deck on here, on the table, the bottom of the deck was a tower card. Tower card... So for you, something needs to happen in order for this uh, abundance to come to you again. Tower card, it might be so, sound scary uh, to a lot of you, but here again, here it's depicted very beautifully. Look, there's it's actually a king and a queen falling from the tower. Again, this is coherent with the male and the female that I just talked about here. Look closely, it's a king and the queen falling from the tower, one male figure, one female figure. It seems like you guys um, need need this. A tower moment needs to happen for you to find each other. You're both falling, but once you're on the ground, you're going to find each other. Maybe each one of you was on a different side of the tower. Maybe the queen was on the higher the, the top room. Maybe the king was, on, was in the middle room. You both were imprisoned. You were in different sections of the tower. Now that you're both fell off the tower, the tower is exploding, you're falling off. When you hit the ground, you're going to find each other. You're going to meet each other. So you're in this separation moment right now. You guys are separated. You're not together. That's what I'm sensing. And your abundance relates one way or another on you being together. Once you are together, you're going to, it's going to spark something. It's going to spark an idea. It's going to spark something that will open the doors for more abundance to come to you guys. That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm seeing right now. And one last card for you guys. You won't believe what I just pulled here. Okay, there's no edits. This directly came. There's no edits here. Okay, you won't believe what came here. And we're talking about money. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. Write in the comment section, before you see this, what do you think the card that came out here for you, what do you think it is? Okay? Write it down in the comment section. And let's see if you guessed right. Let's see if you're psychic enough. The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> so, once what I just mentioned happens, this tower moment, you reuniting with your other half. Maximum abundance is coming to you. Loads of abundance and consistent money and projects and endeavors that will bring you the wheel of fortune. Fortune, treasures, gold, money. That's what's coming to you. And on this note, I will close this reading. And I hope this was helpful for you guys. And as you can see, the tarot doesn't lie. When we talk about money, fortune shows up. It's loud and clear. Spirit 
is here. It's in everyone's life. It's real. It exists. And especially to the real mages and witches, to the real ones who are truly connected to the other side. Let's close the portal. Oh, me. Shiharus Vani Karimetes Bihar. She's full.